Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our M1 Tune software onto our laptops to begin our training course. The first thing we want to do is jump into our web browser and type in motech.com. It's going to bring you into the front page of their website, and that's going to be fine what we have here on my laptop screen right now. We're next going to move into our downloads area here and then jump into our software. And in our software drop down menu, we're going to choose our latest release option. Let's click on that. Now it's going to load to the next page, and this is going to be where we have to choose what we want to download specific to work with our MoTeC product. Now in this case, we have an M1, and this is an M1 course, so we're interested in working with and downloading our M1 Tune software. We can see up at the top here, we also have this option here, M1 Build. M1 Build is used for developmental purpose, so if you want to create a firmware package for a vehicle or add certain features or functions within to your M1 package, you would use the M1 build to code that out and then you could resell that package to someone else. So this is something that we're not gonna be covering in the training course. This is coding, this is adding additional uh, things within a package. This is gonna be more suited for someone that wants to create a package for a custom application. Let's say you have a Lotus, uh, Lotus Exige and you wanna be able to work with all the CAN bus programming in the vehicle. You would use the M1 build here to be able to develop a package that you could use for your personal use or you could resell it to an end user. What we're going to do here is work with packages that are already established either from a third party like John Reed or from MoTeC directly and that's going to be where we work with this M1 tune software. This is going to be where we actually do the calibrating and tuning. The M1 build is for again that developmental purpose and you would need a developmental license and a box for MoTeC. So, this isn't going to be something we cover in, this, in the, the training course here. We're going to be focusing on just tuning and calibrating and working with existing packages from MoTeC. So we want to go ahead and choose this M1 Tune option. Now, in addition to this, we also need to have our logging software, the data analysis software we need to download as well onto our laptops. Let's do that first. If we scroll down here, we're going to be moving into our area towards the bottom here under data analysis. We see we have an i2 Pro and an i2 Standard. This is going to be allowing us to open up data logs that we record within our M1 environment in the M1 software, and then we can open those data logs up and take a look at them specifically for data analysis purpose in this software. I'm going to go ahead and choose the i2 standard option right here. Let's go ahead and click on that, and that's going to start my downloads. We can see it's downloading right here. We're going to install that in just a few minutes. We can see that it's going to be just in our downloads folder. Let's move on to downloading now our M1 Tune software because it's going to bring us into a different area within the website for downloading this. Let's click on this option here and it's going to bring us into this MoTeC online page here. What we're going to do is scroll down here under the M1 option and we can see we have M1 Build, M1 Build, and that's going to be for our 64-bit system, and then we have M1 Tune. We want to go ahead and download our M1 Tune. We're not going to be downloading and working with our M1 Build. Let's go here to our download option and click on download. Now that's going to initiate the download. We're going to see that it's downloading fairly quickly into our downloads folder. What we can do here is just click on our M1 Tune and click open file. And we want to go ahead and install this onto our laptops. So right here, we're going to say yes. And it's going to go ahead and extract all of that information out of that exe file that we've downloaded into our folder. Right here, we can see welcome to installing Wizard for MoTeC M1 Tune 1.4. We're going to click next here. We're going to agree to the terms of service, and then we're going to go here and click next. It's going to tell us where it's installing our MoTeC folder to on our laptops. So we can see right here, C drive, program files, x86, MoTeC. That's fine. I'm not going to go ahead and change that location. So let's go ahead here and go to next. And then we're going to go ahead and do the install. So click on that option here and just be patient while it installs the software. It takes about a minute. Okay, so now we can see that it has completed the installation and then we'll click finish here. And this is gonna go ahead and it's trying to open up that file that it, a readme file. And in this case, we'll just say just once we can do that actually into our, uh, we'll use Microsoft Edge and we'll just say always. And this is gonna so show us the release notes for the software version that we've just downloaded. We can see the release date here is the 25th of May, 2023. So this is the latest and greatest software that they're offering at this point in time. And it's gonna tell us all of the different software changes and revisions that have happened over the course of the software. We can see here, 
it's quite a bit of detail here. We can go down. So if right from the beginning, if we go all the way down, it's going to be the beginning where it was released in 2012, all the way to the point we're at here at 1.4. So we can keep that open if you want to go and review it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click here and click X. The next thing I am going to do is install that i2 standard logging software onto the laptop. We've downloaded it into our downloads folder. Let's go ahead and open that up here and actually install it. So let's jump in here to our downloads. And we see here we have our uh, the Motec i2 standard logging software. We want to go ahead and double click this and do the installation process here just as we did with the M1 tune. This process is not complicated at all, but we definitely want to go ahead and install the software that we need for our training course. So it's going to do the same process here. We'll click next and we're going to agree to the terms of service and the license agreement. Click next here and we're going to allow it to do that installation process. Takes a few seconds here. Okay, so now that software has been installed and completed, we can see show the readme file. If we click finish here, it's going to open up in the web browser again and show us what the release here, this specific software version, which was 25th of July, 2023. So this is again, that, that latest version. It's showing some of the fixes that were in that specific release. And we can go back in here to the revision history to be able to review that. We don't need to do any of that. So let's go ahead and just click out of there and we can keep ourselves in the MoTeC downloads area here if we wanna download some additional software. But for the training course, we're not gonna go over any other additional software. Let's go ahead and minimize the web browser. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.